goes through a full day of eating. I have a little bit of an update with how my fitness routine goals have been and I want to start off with a bang and take you guys through a full day of eating. But this full day of eating is going to be a full day of eating in a calorie deficit for fat loss. And if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know that my goals have been like jumping around all over the place. And I've been really intuitive with my nutrition. I haven't been fully tracking my food since June and it is now September. So I've been a little bit more relaxed with the approach as far as nutrition and same thing with my fitness like in the gym i've had a lot of ups and downs since i had moved into the house i had a tooth surgery and then i had some other stuff going on and i just i've been like all over the place and with that my goals have also been all over the place and i am having kind of a hard time getting myself to be a little bit more just like disciplined how i used to be and I am super excited because I hired back my previous coach that I was working with for like a past, like the past year I was working with him and I'm super excited to start working with him again just to have, you know, another point of view and someone above me to help me stick to my shit and help me, you know, get a set plan with, you know, a duration of time and really just helping me be more consistent with my nutrition and the gym. It's not that I don't know how to do it with the macros, nutrition, training, all of that. It's solely just coming down to, I need someone to help me stay accountable and just help me get back into the routine of being on my grind. And so that is what we're doing. Today is the first day, well, kind of technically second day. Yesterday was Labor Day, so I didn't go to the gym, but this is my second day of getting back into the routine with tracking my macros again. I am currently in a calorie deficit and yeah, we are getting ready to go to the gym, starting starting a new training block today, so I'm super excited for that. And I just decided why not take you guys through a full day of eating because I have more structure with everything now. And I'm just really excited and I'm really in a good headspace with everything and just getting back into the grind. And I'm super excited. So this morning I just had a pancake. So it was actually this brand right here. The Birch Benders pancake mix okay a little bit of a mess up here um so i ordered my groceries online yesterday and they accidentally gave me the wrong one i didn't even look at the macros so the macros are a little messed up um i didn't realize that they were messed up but anyways i had this for my pancake today i thought it had more protein in it than it actually does but we'll figure it out as the day goes on totally fine not a big deal but i had a protein well a pancake this morning i put dark chocolate chips in it and sugar-free syrup this is the syrup that i used it is so good if you're wasting calories and carbs on regular syrup you're doing it wrong but anywho i am getting ready to go to the gym that is what i had for breakfast as you guys saw and then yeah i think i'm just going to take you guys through the day of me eating i'm not going to show you guys anything else but yeah i'm just going to take you guys through my day all of my food that i'm eating and we're just gonna have a day. So again, this is a full day of eating in a calorie deficit, focusing on fat loss. I'm eating around 21, 2200 calories right now, and I'm feeling really, really good and really excited about everything. And yeah, but we're getting ready to go to the gym right now, and we're gonna be hitting glutes and shoulders. I just got home from the gym, and it is, well, I got home a little bit ago. It's 12.45 right now, and I'm going to be making lunch. And my lunch is going to be a little walking taco kind of ordeal. If you don't know what a walking taco is, it's basically just like a bag of chips into like a taco slash a salad thing. I don't know. I feel like if you grew up in the Midwest, then you know what a walking taco is. But I'm using these Quest protein chips. They already are flavored. It's the loaded taco flavor, so it's perfect. Originally, I would do like Doritos, but this is my last bag of these and I just want to use them. So I'm going to use these and then I'm going to warm up some ground beef. This is 93.7 ground beef. Literally nothing on it. I know, plain, whatever, but I'm going to use four ounces of this. I have my reduced fat cheese and then lettuce and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of ranch on it and just going to mix it all up and it's going to be super yummy. So I need to warm this meet up really quick. 
Then I, of course, have my big Diet Pepsi right here. So yummy. But this meal is super easy, super quick. All you literally have to do is prep your beef. And it's like a little taco salad, walking taco ordeal. But these chips are really good. The macros are 19 grams of protein, 5 carb, 5 fat, and then 140 calories. I don't always buy these because they are a little bit expensive. I've had these for a few weeks now, and this is just the last bag. But yeah, I think a bag of like four or six of these is like $10. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it, but I just got them one time. I think this is like the first time I've actually bought them like this whole year. I don't know. I don't buy them consistently just because it's a little bit of a waste of money in my opinion. But they are really yummy. Like I said, I would normally just use like a bag of Doritos. But since my meal, my breakfast this morning was a lot lower in protein than I was expecting it to be. Because I got the wrong pancake mix. We are doing this with the beef and then the cheese. It's probably going to be around probably like 50 grams of protein and just this little meal right here. So I'm going to weigh out this beef for four ounces. Four ounces of this. And since it's already cooked, I instead of weighing out four ounces, I weigh out three ounces just because it loses density when it's cooked. If it was uncooked, I would be tracking it four ounces raw. But like I said, it's already cooked. So honestly, you can weigh your food however you want it. As long as you're staying consistent with the way that you're tracking your food, you're gonna be eating the same amount of food, regardless of if you track it raw or if you track it cooked. So just choose the way that you prefer to track it and it's totally fine. There's no right or wrong way. It just depends on what you want to do and what's easiest for you. Then this is reduced fats cheese. So I'm going to do 28 grams of this. I do weigh out my ranch, of course, just because it's very high in fat and calorically dense. So, if you're not weighing out like your ketchup, your mustard, your ranch, any other type of condiment or dressing, this is your sign to do that just because you can use a lot more than you anticipate and be going way over your calorie targets. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then, so you have everything in here. All the ingredients are in here and then you just mix it together and you eat it just like a little salad. You're walking taco ordeal. <laughs> Crush the chips up too, it's easier. But if you've never had this before, I highly recommend doing it. It is so yummy and so quick and easy. Literally all you have to do is prep the beef and you're good to go. But if I had tomatoes, I would put tomatoes in here as well, but I do not have any. Looks like all crunched up. Super yummy, super quick, and super easy. It's 2.40 right now, almost three o'clock. I have a little bit of a snack, so I am going to be making a ham sandwich, Greek yogurt, and then a little bag of crunchy Cheetos. I have the best lunch meat from Hy-Vee. It is seriously the best. It is their heavy sweet maple turkey breast lunch meat. It is the best freaking thing ever. I used to get it all the time as a kid with my dad. And so it just kind of like reminds me of my childhood almost, if that makes sense. You know how you have like, sort of like certain smells, certain songs, certain foods that just like remind you of times in your life. This <laughs> turkey lunch meat reminds me of when I was a kid. So we are going to make a ham sandwich, have a little bit of a snack to hold me off until dinner because I know for dinner, we are going to be eating a little bit later tonight. So just wanna have a little bit of a bigger snack to get me through the rest of the afternoon and the rest of the work day. Here is my little afternoon snack, third meal of the day, whatever you wanna call it. So like I said, I just have the little fun food here. So some Cheetos, some Greek yogurt, and then just a ham sandwich. Super yummy, again, super simple. I'm very simple with my food. I do not care to overcomplicate anything. I really just like the basics and it works for me. So I'm gonna eat this for a little snack and then I will catch you guys for dinner and what we're having then. And then I'll, I'm gonna have another snack before we go to bed. So I'll see you guys then. I'm gonna eat this, enjoy it, and then get back to work and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. The evening, it is seven o'clock and I'm making dinner right now. And for dinner, we are having these chicken fillies which 
so good so easy to make and the macros are great so i'm gonna make this with our little like hoagie buns provolone cheese super quick and easy and then i'm also going to have green beans on the side um again super easy and convenient frozen vegetables literally the easiest thing pop them in the microwave for like four to five minutes prep them super easy for the week and yeah this is going to be our dinner i'm gonna make it really quick my sd card has like no storage left so i might have to finish this, this video on my phone but i will recap with you guys once it's made so you can see everything and i'm gonna put the macros on the screen with every single meal that i had today as well so you can track that along the way but yeah i'm gonna make dinner really quick again it's gonna be chicken fillies with some green beans on the side and this is dinner and then i'm gonna have one more snack later tonight before i go to bed